on it. So you cannot really explain the way it is, but it's a very nice food. Wow, it has been really a great experience here because stories have been going all over. I have heard about it. I tried to Google about it. And of course, when I Googled it, I found a small piece uh, by Signs of Times, which was documented there. But even after I saw it, there were still doubts uh, from my colleagues that I informed about it. Um, well, this morning we've made it to come here and I still can't believe that I'm here. And um, we've got the, a bit of it here. It's a bit, it's a bit hard. The text is hard. I think it has dried up a bit. It's more or less like um, a cake's icing sugar that has been dried because it's very tasty, very sweet. The history of mana falling and lumber Adventist station in the southern parts of Angola dates back to more than 50 years ago when there was a famine in this area. Villagers had to walk long distance to look for food and those who harvested a little bit had to sweat it out to grind the maize meal into mealy meal, a very labor-intensive exercise, but the job had to be done. The mission station was destroyed during the civil war in Angola that lasted more than 20 years. When the mission station was destroyed by the rebels, mana stopped falling and only started falling again when the mission station was rebuilt. This is a living miracle, and all this shows us the presence of God. This Adventist mission station must be preserved by all means. On the day the mission station was dedicated to the Lord, mana fell like it has never happened before, and the community was terrified. I was born in this place. Uh, I have been, I, I grew up at the, in the same place. And from my childhood, I've been witnessing this miracle of manna falling. But something which really troubled me, and it was a very big miracle, it happened in, 20, in 2010. That year, after the mission has been renewed, there was a big miracle happening where manna fall in such quantities which we have never seen before. It fell actually from beyond the, that side of the church. It fell even up to the mountain. All the ground was covered with manna. This happened in a time when the, the mission has been renewed. And people were marveling. They were wondering why is it that manna never fell in such a way and it's falling in, the, in that way people were afraid we, we they said we, we we were to come out and call people to come and collect manna but they refused they were afraid because it was too much the whole ground was covered with manna so people were afraid coming out of their homes to collect it and only little children came and collected it when the information reached the union pastor teodoro and pastor Gilberto from Brazil and Pastor Sabino from Portugal, they came to witness the miracle because the manna was kept up to when they came and they were shown what was really happening at this place. Manna fell as never before. Sometime in the past, there was a famine around the area and people had no food. They decided to fast and pray to God. By the then, the late Pastor Seke Seke, was the district, it was the director of the mission station. He was away and only women were around, but no food. After three days of prayer, they received manna. A small girl came to this bush and found some things that looked like were bread, but white. And she met two men who said, take and eat. She ate and carried some back home. And when the parent saw her, they said, what is it you are having in your hands? She says, I don't know, but I've eaten. They said, don't eat, throw. She said, I've already eaten. The man that I met told me to eat. And they went to look for the men. They were not there. Those two men disappeared. And the people went and picked the manna and ate and they were falling every day except on sabbath and this manna has been falling these days it falls wednesdays and fridays if it's not raining unfortunately today when we came it rained in the night but manna fell we still managed to find a bit of it and it, as evidence that it was there 
don't have words to describe how I feel now. I can actually quote what another pastor said when he preached about the manna which the, the, the Israelites saw in the desert. And he said, when they saw it for the first time, they just questioned, what is it? And that's the same question I have now. What is it? Because I can't even describe it. It's a miracle. There is a miracle within a miracle regarding the falling of manna at Namba Adventist Mission Station. When the church members are not in good standing order with the Lord, the manna that falls is not white, but is blood-like and very bitter. The falling of manna has to do with the believers also around. If in this congregation one of the believers uh, is not working well with God, the manna that will fall that week will be bitter and that until there is a revival among the members. It's also good to consider that when Valente was the administrator of this place, there was this time when he was living in sin. For that reason, Manak fell, but this manna was, was, no, was no longer white as it is today. It was white and red. It was red and white. And for that reason, people tried to test it, and it was testing bitter because the administrator of the place was living in sin. So from that point, we got to know that this manna really f is God who sends the manna to this place. However, it is sweet as it is today. It is test as it is today only when God's children in this place stand in his word, live according to his principles. When someone somewhere among the people of this congregation live outward, outward the church, when they live on their own way, not according to what the Lord's approve, the manna will fall, but it won't be eatable one. It will be bitter manna and it will even change the color. It will be red manna. This white manna only falls when God's children stand in his word. When God's children live according to what he approves. The testimonies here are really moving. That the Lord is a witness to our characters. He takes record and is concerned of our lifestyle how we relate in secret and in public. He sees whatever is hidden. And so, like in the times of old, when Israel sinned against God, calamities came upon the land of Israel. And the same manner here, when this congregation, one person, especially the leaders, go astray, they harbor some sin, many people will suffer. As we live in the last days, the miracle taking place in South Angola Union is a living testimony that the Lord is there and still cares for his people. For 34 Degrees South, I'm Norris Spanda reporting from Namba in Angola.